Welcome back to Easy English with Tim. We're going to continue on with Chapter 7, Lesson 2, Part 2. So, when we're looking for a home or an apartment to rent, uh, we can use, continuing on with our questions, we can use these questions to find out information about the places we want to look at. This room here, this is called the living room. The living room, la sala en español. Is the living room spacious? Is the living room spacious? Spacious. So it's going to sound like that in English and that in Spanish. Spacious. Spacious. Is the living room spacious? Number six. Now this is a very, very important question. Normally, electricity is not included. Normally, it is not included when you're trying to rent a house. Sometimes it is included in the rent, depending on where you are. So this is a very important question. Is electricity and garbage included in the rent? Is electricity and garbage included in the rent? Let's fill in the blank spaces here with our information. The first one, we're going to choose between apartment and house. So let's use apartment. My apartment has three bedrooms. It has a large kitchen with two windows. My apartment has two bathrooms. Okay, let's try number one again. My apartment has three bedrooms. It has a large kitchen with two windows. My apartment has two bathrooms. Okay, let's take a look at sunny and dark. Sunny, dark. My house is sunny. My house is dark. Why is it dust that? I don't know. The has enough space for my family. Enough space. So this can be living room, la sala, dining room, comedor. The living room has enough space for my family. Now if you speak Spanish, English, Portuguese, that is how these are going to sound. This is the English pronunci pronunciation. Enough space. The dining room has enough space for all my family. Okay, we're going to look at the difference between singular and plural. Singular and plural. 
five cats. Plural. We use are. There are five cats in the yard. Bird, tree, a bird, one. There is one bird, there is a bird in the tree. A car, one. There is a car in the garage. There is a car in the garage. People, plural, are. There are people in the apartment. There are people in the apartment. Three, plural, are. There are three bedrooms in the house. There are three bedrooms in the house. Two bathrooms are. There are two bathrooms in the house. A. Uh, one. There is a kitchen. There is a kitchen. Four, plural, are. There are four people in their family. There are four people in their family. One of my students had a question about making a question. Preguntando, pidiendo. Asking a question. So if you look here, if I take this word, the verb to be, and move it in front of there, are there, now it becomes a question. Are there five cats in the yard? Or if I do this with is, is there? Is there a bird in the tree? So by moving the verb to be from after to in front, we create a question. Is there? It's very similar to what can be done in Spanish. Tu vas a la playa. Va tu a la playa? So instead of having the verb behind, we put the verb in front and we can create a question. Okay, this is a little bit uh, confusing for people that do not speak English because we add a word behind the verb to change it from one verb to a different verb. Looking, mirando, looking, I'm looking at the plane. Looking at, mirando a, looking at. Ma Gade avion. Looking at. If I change at to for, looking for, the whole verb changes. Buscar. So this little word after looking is going to change everything. Buscando. Looking for. Looking at, looking for. Okay, conversation. Okay, so here we're going to see looking for, looking for. 
This is a new word. This is called both. Both. Ambos. Both. Both. Or los dos. Need. Need. Necesitar. Bezwe. Isn't. Negative. Negative. No. Negative. Included. Included. Follow me. Follow me. Sígame. Or in Creole, suíme. Follow me. So let's go slowly. Hi. I'm looking for an apartment to rent. We have both two and three bedroom apartments. I need three bedrooms. Electricity isn't included in the rent. Okay, please follow me. <coughs> Let's go a little bit faster. Hi, I'm looking for an apartment to rent. We have both two and three bedroom apartments. I need three bedrooms. Electricity isn't included in the rent. Okay, please follow me. <clears throat> All right, that concludes today's lesson. Thank you for joining me at Easy English with Tim. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time for Chapter 7, Lesson 3.